Welcome to At Home With Music. I'm Leon Olguin. In this video, I'd like to share with you five effective warm-up exercises that you can use when you practice the piano. The first one is simply playing through the scales. In fact, this is an exercise that was endorsed by the famous pianist Vladimir Horowitz. And he emphasized, as I emphasize here, that you should play very slowly to begin with. I would also ask that you play one hand at a time. Now you can start with C major. We're going to go up two octaves, come back down. Do it with the right hand, then also with the left. messed up the fingering a little bit there, but you get the idea. And I was going way too fast. You may have to play this very slowly in order to make sure that you have an even, smooth sound. And so you start slowly, you can gradually speed up. And then naturally you want to work your way through the other major scales and then eventually the minor scales. B major, I've explained, is actually one of the easiest scales to play. So you can go back to the video where I explain how to play C and B, and that's a good way to start, and it's a good way to get your fingers warmed up. Another good way is to play arpeggios. Arpeggios, as you know, is nothing more than a chord played one note at a time, or we call it a broken chord. Once again, start slowly with one hand at a time. And the left hand. Notice the fingers I'm using in the left hand are one, four, five, one, four, five. And then of course you want to play them in other keys. Don't try to go that fast at first. You have to start slowly and work your way up. Another chord that's even easier to play as an arpeggio is the diminished chord. If you start on A, for example, and you play A, C, E flat, G flat, it's very easy to keep repeating that same four note pattern up and down the keyboard. Same thing in the left hand. Make sure that you don't tense up and make sure that you don't try to go too fast too soon. Now the third exercise or warm-up exercise that you can use are the Hannon exercises. Now I've warned against overusing Hannon because they, they tell you in the book to play the entire book all the way through, which I used to do when I was very, very working very hard on my technique. Nevertheless, these are useful for warming up your fingers. So for example, the first hand and exercise. Very simple, all on the white keys. It keeps going up and then it gets up to here. You can do it one octave up and down or two octaves. Same pattern. This book is readily available. You can buy it as a PDF. You can buy the actual book. And it just keeps going. Last one. Ta-da! Later on, I will show you some things that you can do with the Hannon warm-up exercise that make it even more effective. Okay, so scales were number one. Arpeggios were number two, the Hannon exercises were number three, and the fourth thing, the fourth warm-up exercise, is simply finger stretches, finger exercises. I've already demonstrated some finger exercises that you can do away from the keyboard, and so here are some that you can use to help warm up your fingers. So the first thing you can do is kind of like giving yourself a finger massage. You begin with your thumb and your uh, pointer <laughs> and you're just kind of rubbing out and it kind of helps get the blood flowing 
fact, this might have been a good one to start with. Nevertheless, you don't necessarily have to do these exercises in the order in which they are given, nor do you have to do all of them every time. These are just the best warm-up exercises for getting your fingers ready to play. So it's just kind of giving yourself a hand massage. You can also stretch your fingers very gently while holding the other fingers in place. And of course, doing it this way as well. Once again, being very careful not to overstretch just until you feel a little bit of tension there. And once you've done exercises like that, oh, here's a couple more I should show you. This one, you start by making a fist and then open your hands up and then bring it back. Just like this, back and forth. Not too fast. You'll start to feel this one after a while. So if it starts to hurt, stop doing it. <laughs> Now, after you've done these type of exercises, you can shake your hands out a little, shake them out, just let them relax, and you'll feel the blood flowing into your fingers, and that will help you get ready to play. So that's number four. Now, the fifth one that you can do is play through chord progressions. We've already done this in previous videos. This is also an excellent way to get your fingers warmed up to help you get ready for practicing. So, you could play a very simple progression like the one, four, five, one. Notice I use one in root position. The four chord, or F, since we're in the key of C, is in third, or excuse me, second inversion. And then the G major chord in first inversion, back to C. And then you can play it with the inversions. up here. Same thing with your left hand. Use the fingers that feel the most comfortable and that don't strain you. Of course, once again, in demonstrating these exercises, I'm going way too fast. You need to start slowly. I must emphasize that again. Always start slowly and then gradually work up to a faster tempo. So, of course, I'm just playing in C. You can also do it in other keys. Here I'm playing both hands together. You can do it that way as well after you've played one hand at a time. And work your way through all the keys. And then you can even play them in minor keys. So there you go. Those are the five most effective warm-up exercises for piano players. You start by playing through some scales. You can play arpeggios one hand at a time and then both hands together going up one or two octaves. Hand and exercises. Take them very slowly, very simply. You only need to use a couple of them. There's 60 of them, I think, in the whole book, if I remember correctly. You don't, you're not necessarily going to be playing all 60 of the exercises in the Hannon book. Just maybe numbers 1, 2, the first 10, whatever. Use those for warming up. Number 4 was just the basic finger stretching exercises that I've showed you. And then the fifth one, of course, was to play chord progressions in every key. So I hope this is helpful to you. You can like and subscribe, and I look forward to talking to you in the next one.